Okay, so for this video, I'll be uh, describing the characteristics of an entrepreneur and other topics later on. So the first one is, of course, an entrepreneur should be hardworking. So we know that uh, this is not an easy task to be an entrepreneur. So an entrepreneur should be hardworking and, and so willing to work even overtime if ever needed. Then, of course, number two is self-confident. So, dapat may confidence. So, if you're not self-confident, then most probably you will not make it into an entrepreneur. Mayra pa maging entrepreneur. Baka uh, takot ka sa mga risk or hindi ka bilib sa yung sarili, then maybe that is uh, uh, that is will be that is something that against dun sa pagiging successful entrepreneur. Then builds for the future. So, nakikita mo yung parang future mo for if you are an entrepreneur, nakikita mo yung kwan. So, hindi lang yung present ang titinan, pero titinan mo yung what will happen next. Okay? So, what will I be in the future? Profit-oriented. Of course, titinan mo, dapat kumikikita yung business. So, you are, yun ang isang inisip mo. Dapat yung ginagawa mo is something na the business will gain profit. And then, of course, you have your goals. So, baka, mami, ang goal mo ay mag-expand or something, maging, uh, maging national, yung, yung company, etc. That's why you, have, you should have your goals. See, yung goal then, yan din ang parang uh, driving force for you to do something, uh, to do something para ma-achieve mo itong mga goals mo. Hirap yung walang goals kasi para kang walang direction. Persistent. So, persistent kasi hindi yung, kunwari, for, uh, baka first attempt mo eh, hindi successful, eh, tama na, ayaw mo na. So, it, you should be persistent. Sige nang sige yung hanggang parang try and try eh, until you die nga. Sabi nga nila, parang ganun yung persistent. Response to feedback. So, let's say, for example, nagpatayo ka ng yung company. So, so, so mayroon, mayroon dyang positive and negative na mga feedbacks. So, dapat alam mo ang mag-respond dito. So, pag positive, makita mo na na siguro, ayan, uh, you can build on that strength. or Pero pag negative, then you should address ko naman yung negative mo yun. Hindi yung, uh, for example, ba, ma, no, masisiraan ka na ng loob dahil hindi maganda yung feedback. Or baka, baka rin kung maganda yung feedback, eh, you'll rest on your laurels yung parang hindi mo na i-improve kasi akala mo yun na yun, di ba? So, you should respond positively to all feedbacks, whether negative or positive. Then, demonstrate initiative. So, kailangan yung may initiative ka palagi yung maglilid, parang ganun. For example, baka... Uh, kung ano, nasa delivery service ka, baka meron kang makita pang mga ibang uh, initiative or something, di ba? Willing to listen, halos parang ganoon din sa feedback yan, di ba? So, kung hindi man sa mga feedback ng mga customers mo, baka you have friends na of similar businesses, maybe you're willing to listen, or kung baka may mga seminars related to your business, so maybe you can attend seminars that's willing to listen. Set own standards. So, parang may parang goals din ito let's say for example gusto ko yung medyo pang national level ang aking company so that's your own standard diba? hindi yung kung ano lang nung nandyan okay na so you should your, set your own standard ang gusto ko maging pang international yung aking product that will be your standard then ang gagawin mo is of course to do, 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 to do the things para maging ganun ang standard ng yung uh, company copes with uncertainty So, hindi palaging ano nga yan, di ba? Uh, hindi palaging nga, it's not a bed of roses. May mga thorns palagi dyan. So, dapat you should know how to cope with this. Dapat alam mo kung paano tanggapin yung mga so possible na hindi sure pero kwan, so you should know how to cope with this. Committed, syempre. Dapat nandun yung commitment mo nandoon yung commitment mo para talagang gawin yung kwan. So, dedicated ka na gawin yung iyong uh, business. Nang builds on strength. So, alam mo, 
kung ano yung strength ng company mo ng yung uh, yun, yung company mo at saka alam mo yung weaknesses but if you have your strength dapat you should build on this parang nasabi ko na rin kanina na may strength ka hindi yung hindi yung titigil ka na doon baka tinan mo baka there are still rooms for improvement or syempre you must maintain that strength pero kung may improvement pa sige pa diba reliable and has integrity so you should dapat ang technopreneur honest ganun yung may integrity reliable mapagkakatiwalaan so kung gagawin mo lang sa maling paraan yang yung pagiging technopreneur then I believe mahirap maging successful na technopreneur then risk taker so parang ganun din sa may bankwan so alam mo natin na ang business <coughs> excuse me ay may risk so it is possible na uh, malugi or ano pero you have to take the risk kasi ganun ang pagiging technopreneur but, but of course kaya nga you have your your taking up your education BSIT or for this particular subject technopreneurship kasi pag educated ang pag ang pag take ng risk dapat calculated risk hindi yung parang bahala na si Batman na pagkuha ng risk okay so tingnan mo dapat merong parang alam mo pa rin na uh, risk pero mayroon yung talagang uh, kahit na alam may chance na maging okay di ba kasi yung talagang alam mo 100% na walang chance parang ganun so that's risk taking it should be calculated risk Now, what's the difference between an entrepreneur and a salaried employee? Bakit ba mas maganda ang maging entrepreneur kung minsan kaysa sa salaried employee? So, if you if you feel you have the resources, you have the characteristics of an entrepreneur, mas maganda ba maging entrepreneur kaysa salaried employee? So, tinan natin. So, these are some of the differences. Medyo malilit, but I'm going to read them. So, there's a very big difference between an entrepreneur and an employee. In life, we make our choices to decide where we want our current actions to lead us into the future to lead us to it in the future below are major differences and na hindi natin daw basta-basta makita school so next uh, uh, number one an entrepreneur decides his future profit time happiness duties and a whole lot of others so entrepreneur ka so hawak mo ang future mo kung gusto mong umasin so gusto mong magkumita you have your time hawak mo ang oras mo di ba Well, on the other hand, an employee allows his boss to decide his income. So, yung boss mo ang magde-decide kung magkano ang kikitain mo, sweldo mo, pati yung time mo, may schedule ka kung kailan papasok, di ba? And sometimes, sa labi dito, even happiness. Gusto mong gusto mong bakasyon, pero hindi ka pinayagan ng boss mo. Kaya, yeah, sometimes your, even your happiness is decided by your boss. An entrepreneur craves for freedom while an employee craves for security. So, entrepreneur ka, mas may freedom ka, di ba? You can, kasi hawak mo nga ang oras mo, etc. Pero, pag employee ka, yun, ano, yung parang security mo sa future, yung, at least meron kang kinikita monthly, parang ganun ang atilitin mo doon. So, don't forget, the people in prisons are the ones provided with the maximum security. Meaning, while an entrepreneur is absolutely free in his decisions sa movement, so ikaw ang bahala mag-decide kung saan ang pupunta, etc., An employee is restricted in his. So, mayroon siyang restriction pa kapag employee ka. So, hindi ka pinayagan ng boss, hindi ka makakalabas, mga ganyan, di ba? Kailangan mag-work ka ng Monday to Friday, 8 to 5. So, kaya nga, parang kang preso. <laughs> An entrepreneur pays himself first before being his rent. Uh, her, her, first before being his rent, supplier, tax, salaries, and wages bills and others. So, yun ang babayaran mo unang-unang-una if you're the entrepreneur. Yung mga tax, mga ganun, di ba? Para at least yung mga natira, yan ay yung pera mo. Well, on the other hand, an employee is being paid last salary at the end of the month. So, ikaw ang huling kikita. An entrepreneur is in, in some cases are the last to arrive at his place and the first to leave. Ikaw ang boss. So, Pwedeng ikaw ang late na pumasok at ikaw ang unang lalabas. Pero pag employee ka, dapat nandun ka na before ng time. So, you first to arrive and last to 
Live. Ikaw ang last na awal. Entrepreneurs decide the future of their works. That is, for example, yung working hours. So, ikaw ang bahala sa working hours mo, sa salary mo, na, sa your benefit queries, or even salaries of your, of your employees, ikaw ang bahala. Diba? But the employee sits down and let a fellow man decide how the future looks like. So, decision ng company, kung anong gagawin mo. So, the 80-20 principle, the, tri- the entrepreneur just does 20 of the total work of his organization, so 20% makagawa ng entrepreneur, but takes home 80 of the profit at the end of the day. Kasi ikaw may ari. While on the other hand, the employee does 80% of the works, takes home 20% of the profit. While the entrepreneur hates weekends, public holidays and non-working days and always looks forward to Mondays and working days, the employee on the other hand looks for weekends, public holidays, strikes, usually hates Sunday evenings and the break of its morning. Siyempre, ayaw kasi in-enjoy mo sa bahay tapos papasok ka na kinabukasan kaya ayaw mo nang kuminsa yung mga Sunday evening, etc. Entrepreneurs are risk takers who have dared to tread the path others are scared of which have made them stronger, more experienced, and determined. So, risk taker ang mga entrepreneurs. On the other hand, employees are scared to take risks for fear of failure, which have made them to, to be timid. So, mahiyain, extremely humble, uncertain, and most times, unhappy. Entrepreneurs' main aim is to make profit. So, kikita. When, how, when, how, or who, will get the job done is mostly not his concern. So, titi, kahit na sino yung gumawa nung basta, basta mag-profit. Okay? All that matter to him is to make profit and all cost, at all costs. Dapat yun. The employees, on the other hand, bothers himself about when, how, and who will get the job done but all it looks forward to is the fixed salary he gets at the end of the day. Entrepreneurs most times are not willing to part with any amount on paying a staff. Except, of course, they are sure of making 10 times in value and profit for su- from such stuff. Employees should realize no matter how much they are getting a salary, they are being paid way below the value they are adding to the organization. Siyempre. Kasi gusto nang may-ari ng business kumita, di ba? <laughs> Now, what makes an entrepreneur a technopreneur? So, a technology idea owner who ventures to make his idea a commercial reality. So, parang entrepreneur, pero dapat mayroon diyang technology idea. An entrepreneur who gets a technology idea finds an opportunity to make it a commercial reality. So, yan ang technopreneur. So, some technology ventures, ito yung mga uh, naging uh, technopreneurs. Smartly, Actually, parang computer shop, pero this is actually in Manila kasi uh, this slide came from TIP. So, computer shop dealing with the computer hardware and software repairs network and LCD rental set. So, local lang ito. Parang doon lang sa place nila. The lane system, software integration developer. So, gumagawa ng software naman yan, lane system. So, national, ito, uh, pero halos wala na mga ito. Netopia, so... I don't know kung naabutan niyo pa yung Netopia. Meron yan sa Nepo, meron doon sa sa Kanto, sa Intersection. Meron yan, yan yung Internet Cafe na pang national maraming ganyan. Parang ipapranchise mo yan. Then yehi.com, so parang yahoo.com dot yan. It's, it's an internet portal. Pero wala na rin yan. So international, YouTube, siyempre alam nyo na yung YouTube. So it's a video sharing website. So these are actually... Tapi ka, paano kumikita yung YouTube? Ito yung mga ads, di ba? So, maraming ads. In fact, nagbabayad din sila ng mga ads sa mga gumagawa ng content. Pero at the same time, mas maraming binabayad sa kanila. That's why they earn millions or even billions of dollars. So, some basic facts. Businesses start from ideas, but ideas alone do not make a business. So, parang yung idea mo, Para ano pa lang yun? Papel lang yun eh. You have to do it. Hindi lang dream it, but you have to do it. So, yan yung sa business. Kailangan gagawin mo yung business. Hindi lang idea lang. 
customers do not buy ideas, they buy products and services. So, yung ideas mo, hindi pang material yun. So, gawin mo yung idea mo, to turn it into product or a service, yun ang bibili ng customers. And customers pay the price, and the value is what they get. So, I think that's all for this slide. Okay? So, we'll have uh, more on our next video. Ah, meron pa pala. <laughs> so, some basic facts. Continue. Marketable product may not result in viable business. So, pwedeng maganda yung product mo, pero pwedeng hindi siya maging successful sa business. Kasi sa business, uh, sa marketing, meron yung tinasabi yung na apat na piece or four piece or sometimes five piece peta. Dapat maganda yung product mo, maganda yung promotion, maganda yung place, maganda yung packaging, etc. So, marami yan. Hindi lang yung product mismo. A studied approach to planning the business is needed. Kaya kailangan ng business planning. Entrepreneurship is calculated risk taking. Sabi ko na kanina na may risk pero dapat calculated risk. Hindi full hardiness. Hindi bahala na si Batman attitude. Okay, so that ends our...